Hi, I added a few more small but important things to the system. The first one is this one. If you don't notice what the difference is here, uh, maybe you would just watch my last video. Second thing is that I tried to simplify the mechanical construction and tried what happens if I remove the bottom side brass bars and replace them by nuts and washers. And the result is promising because the ohmic resistance of this signal pass is even lower now. It's now 120 micro ohms instead of 140. I want to power it up in automatic mode, so I press the foot switch and then connect the battery. The first difference is this one here. Can you hear us? Now it's sounding when it detects that you connect the electrodes and do some welds. I do a test weld. This is how it sounds like now. And hopefully this will prevent the situation that I ran into in the last video as well. And the third thing is this one here. When you do a volt, and it shows the energy, the time, and the current, and the resistance. You see the average wild current is uh, about one kiloamp.